In this short video, we will learn what are different aircraft groups and how you can get aircraft type endorsement for these aircrafts belonging to different aircraft groups. In order to get your AML endorsed with aircraft type rating, it is very important to understand different aircraft groups as getting AML endorsement is different for different aircrafts. As such, aircrafts are divided into three groups. These groups are Group 1, Group 2, and Group 3. Group 1 includes complex motor-powered aircrafts or multiple engine helicopters. They also include aeroplanes with operating altitude exceeding flight level 290 or they can be any aircraft which are equipped with fiber wire systems. Complex motor-powered aircrafts could be aeroplanes, helicopters, or tilt-rotor aircrafts. All those aeroplanes are complex motor-powered aircrafts which have maximum takeoff mass greater than 5,700 kgs or passenger seating capacity greater than 19 passengers or they require minimum of two pilots. They can be any aeroplane with turbojet engines or two or more turboprop engines. Similarly, all those helicopters which have maximum takeoff mass greater than 3,175 kgs or passenger seating capacity of greater than nine passengers or minimum operating requirement of two pilots are called complex motor powered aircrafts. Group two includes aircraft other than those in group one and belonging to the following subgroups. Subgroup 2A includes single turbo propeller engine aeroplanes. Subgroup 2B includes single turbine engine helicopters and subgroup 2C includes single piston engine helicopters. Group 3 includes all piston engine aeroplanes other than those in group 1. Now we will learn what are the requirements for endorsing the type license on your basic aircraft maintenance engineering license. For category B1 and B2, if the aircraft falls in group 1, then you will need individual type rating. This includes type training. The type training is again divided into two portions. Portion 1 includes theory and examination and the portion 2 includes the practical and its assessment. If this is your very first aircraft in license subcategory then you will also need to have a certain on job training for this. However for category C type training would only include theory and examination for all group 1 aircrafts. For subcategories B1.1, B1.3 and B1.4, if the aircraft falls in group 2, then you can either have individual type rating, full subgroup rating or manufacturer subgroup rating. For individual type rating, you can either do type training plus OGT or you can do type exam plus practical experience. For subgroup rating, you can either do type training plus OJT or type examination plus practical experience on at least three aircraft representative of that subgroup. For manufacturer subgroup rating, you can have type training plus OJT or you can have type examination plus practical experience on at least two aircraft representative of that manufacturer subgroup. Similarly, for category B2, if the aircraft falls in group 2, you can have individual type rating, you can have full subgroup rating, or you can have manufacturer subgroup rating. For individual type rating, you need type training plus OGT, or type exam plus practical experience. However, for full subgroup rating and manufacturer subgroup rating, it will be based on demonstration of practical experience. For category C and the aircraft falling in group 2, you can have individual type rating, you can have full subgroup rating or manufacturer subgroup rating. For individual type rating, you will need only type training or type exam. For full subgroup rating, you need type training or type exam on at least three aircraft representative of that subgroup. Similarly, for manufacturer subgroup rating, you either need a type training or type exam on at least two aircraft representative of that manufacturer subgroup. For category B1.2 and aircraft in group 3, you can have individual type rating or you can have full group 3 rating. Individual type rating requires type training plus OGT or type examination plus practical experience. However, for full group 3 rating, it will be based on demonstration of practical experience. 
if your category B2 and the aircraft falls in group 3, then you can have individual type rating or you can have full group 3 rating. For individual type rating, you either need type training plus OGT or type examination plus practical experience. However, for full group 3 rating, it will be based on demonstration of appropriate experience. If your category C and the aircraft falls in group 3, then you can have individual type rating or you can have full group 3 rating. For individual type rating, you only need type training or type examination. However, full group 3 rating will be based on demonstration of practical experience. After endorsing your basic aircraft maintenance engineering license with aircraft type rating, you need to get certification authorization before you can certify the maintenance on aircraft. In our upcoming videos, we will learn what is certificate authorization and how you can get certification authorization.